Okay, so I got I got a little bit of a, a crafting kind of guide for you uh, new players. Since I'm at this point in Stalker now with my character, finally. I did a lot of grinding. I had like over 130,000. I bought some ammo and everything. Made sure I was caught up on ammo. Uh, now we're over 200 apiece for FMJ and HP. I think that was like almost 16 grand to get that up there. Fully loaded pretty much. Also, I went and got some of uh, I went and got a few white stashes. Nothing too important. Just some fucking ammo, some uh some decent rewards. Nothing crazy though. I even got a I even went down all the way down to Cordon and got that green stash, and honestly that was the most embarrassing green stash I've ever fucking seen. It literally gave me a clear sky chest piece that was broken. It gave me, uh, I think some, like, food. I think it gave me, like, the beans or whatever. And some other, it gave me two shotguns as well. Like, the trash shotguns, and they were both broken. It's like, what the fuck? Absolute trash. Anyways. Anyways, we're here. If you guys remember, I have the shotgun from earlier that I picked up because it has a good barrel. I also have the mask that I picked up a while back, which I have the repair kit for now. And I made a pistol repair kit for the pistol. And... Wait, didn't I just buy this? Oh, because I used it. Okay, never mind. I was like, dude, my brain, dude, I swear to God. But if you guys want to, like actually learn how to craft in this game some of these youtubers i swear to god dude they're like brain dead because <laughs> like i've seen so many crafting things come up like oh this is how you craft efficiently there this is how you this is actually how you craft in the game or like you need to craft your gear this way like dude it's not hard just let me guys show you okay it's literally just follow the game's fucking guide. And I'll show you what I mean. So these are all crafting materials. If it has a t-shirt, it's made for your clothing, which are these two pieces. You can't upgrade your backpack. You can make a backpack, but you can't upgrade it. Like, you can't, like, just click on it, add parts to it. You know what I mean? Like, you can't upgrade your backpack. You have to actually manually craft a new backpack. And these are recipes. As you can see, you can make stuff, but you have to buy these. Very expensive. These are crafting materials which are used to upgrade parts or uh, clothing pieces. And if you read it, it actually fucking tells you that. Yeah, usable for weapon parts. These are weapon parts. But the barrel is different. You have to upgrade the barrel differently. These are actual parts. The barrel is a different thing. You have to use a uh, I think a ramrod. I think it's either a ramrod or this is for the barrel. And then you have this. Same thing. Usable for outfits and maintenance. Which means you use it to repair this or whatever. For the cloth. It's pretty self-explanatory. Use this. A filing stone. A sharpening stone. What is it used for in real life? To sharpen your fucking knife. Which means your tools. Your, your Swiss knife. Your actual knife. It's very self-explanatory, as long as you just read it. It'll literally tell you right here. And so, this right here, Advanced Weapon Cleaning Kit, it tells you what goes with it. Which means, when you use it on an item, you can use these as upgrade materials. So. If you use this to, like, do something. It has a base condition gain is 15, but you can add an increased condition upgrade if you use any of these items to get a bonus. So, when it comes to making something, just open up your fucking thing. Follow what it says you need, and if you need it, go to the fucking vendor that I'm at, buy it, make it, 
but make sure you have the required kit. And it goes for everything. And then when you actually want to like make something, like actually make a piece of gear, you just click on your piece of gear. Boom. Done. Now, if you don't have these pieces at 100%, well, then you go back and do this. You just hover over the piece. I gotta go my backpack. I don't have the pieces in my inventory. But yeah, you hover over the piece and see what it requires. Whatever highlights up is what it requires. So for instance, this requires the little sewing thread. This right here, which is a weapon part, it requires the file and the ramrod. And then if you were to like click on a barrel, it requires a ramrod. Just like I said, it requires one of those two items for the barrel. But yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory that if you want to upgrade like that item, you just use it's one of these two. You just click it, use, click on the item. It gives you a bonus if you use a specific item. And for instance, this is a low, this is a 50. It gives you 56 bonus on top of the 94 by default, which is way overkill. So if I were you, I would not use this. Just use this because it's cheaper. So yeah, it's it's very very easy. But anyways, we are making uh, my helmet because I have some pieces, and that's only a 58, which is unfortunate. Also, I should probably get this to 100, huh? Actually, wait a second. Everything is 100. I just can't get this to 100. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I gotta repair these three pieces, though. So, yeah, that's a fully made helmet because I'll use this to repair these items. Boom. Now look at that. Sick stuff. I think if you actually use this, yeah. So I could technically just use this and upgrade it all the way to 100%. But if you want to, like, be a perfectionist and, like, fully mid-max this helmet, you need to replace every single piece of this helmet. <laughs> if you don't want to use this. And then for the shotgun, I don't think we have anything for the shotgun really. 92. Can't do anything about that. I need the historic kit as well. I have I have these four I have these three pieces. That's why they're highlighted. So, the historic repair kit. So we need a 10 hunting and a 40. That's going to be quite expensive actually. We go into your inventory, see what you got. I do not have a 10, and I do not have a 40. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is going to be a lot of money. Hunting cleaning kit. I'm pretty sure is what it requires. Just look how much that is for one. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, and a hunting... If you don't actually remember what it requires, but you remember what the actual repair kit is called, just hover over it. And if you look at the very bottom, it says used for, and it shows right there the repair kit. At the very bottom, it shows it. it shows right here. So if you don't remember you know what you're buying, just hover over it and it'll show you exactly right there. That's the repair kit that I want, which means this is the mm. item I need. Yeah, that was like 10 grand, dude. Anyways, now we're good. Oh, the bug is in my game. Of course it is. Oh, that bug is annoying, dude. It's supposed to be fixed. I'm hoping they fix it again. Because it's not fixed yet. Back under here. Shotgun. Wait. Oh, yeah, I have to make that. <laughs> 
go back under here and make I don't know why I did that but uh, that's 94 I should probably actually repair that that's 54 I thought I had this one too but I guess not God, they're both 94? Jesus. So, because I only have two pieces, this has three uses, which means I can repair this, this, and this. To 100%. So. Wait, what? What are you using? Oh, it's using one of those. That's fucking... <laughs> okay. See, it's, yeah, it's using my multi-tool to repair this. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, now what does it use for this one? See, it uses a ramrod or that. Like, it literally tells you what to use. So, like, like I said, crafting is not as complicated as you make it. Just hover over shit, and it literally tells you. Once again, I'm not going to use this, because that's 40 over the 94. Okay. Now it's 100%. Pop it in there. As you saw, there was two of them. Don't need it, obviously. Only puts it at 20%, which is not a lot. But we have the repair kit to fall back on. Now, the gun is pretty much like pretty much made. 71%. But, as you see, the parts are still fucked up. So, to fix these parts, you could just right-click it, Maintain Parts. Obviously, there's three parts missing. Because we have one that's 59, 58, 54. We have the barrel that's 92. And then we have the other piece at 7. They all need to be fixed. The barrel doesn't need to be fixed now. But make sure it is fixed before it goes below 80%. Or at least don't ever go below 75% in my opinion. Because anything lower than that, the gun will start jamming quite a lot. Especially in the 60s, like holy shit, dude. The 60s, you will have some problems. So, yeah, just try not to let it go below 80. Just keep in mind, though, the lower the number, the less damage your gun does. So, 92% damage compared to, you know, 100, it's not significant, but when it gets to like 80, 75, it's pretty damn low. That'll pretty much make it where. You can't one-shot someone, and now you'll two-shot them. That's not a good thing. You kind of want to do that damage, man. Especially when it comes to mutants. So for the sake of it, I'm going to keep the barrel how it is. But I will repair it here in a, here to, like here soon. Because I'm probably not going to let it go past 85 because I kind of want it to be over 90, so maybe, like, I'll probably repair it soon. And then repair the bolt. And now that it's 92%, now you just use a cleaning kit to clean it. Which I do not have the other two. Oh, I don't even have a 60, do you have- where the fuck is all my cleaning shit, man? So then you just buy a 60. <laughs> Don't ever buy the lowest numbers. Ever. Unless you actually need... Because, like, see, this is 40, this is 50, this is 60. Don't ever buy the lowest numbers unless you actually need it to craft, like, a repair kit. Or if you just don't want to, like, waste resources to get your gun to 100%. And you only manage to repair parts. I don't know why the fuck you would even do that in the first place. That's what I'm saying, dude. Some of these YouTube videos are retarded. 
they're like, oh, you need to do this to get your gun to this, and then you need to use all these cleaning stuff to get it to 100%. It's like, no. And also, I've seen YouTubers buy this. Why would you buy this? It's 13 grand when to make this, it requires the fucking uh, the pistol repair kit thing, which was like 5,300, right? 5,600? On top of like some wool and I think one other thing. It comes out to like, what, 8 grand? Compared to 13? Why the fuck would you buy this? You're literally spending under 10 grand or at least 9 grand compared to spending over 13. Why would you just waste money on shit like that? And I've seen people buy these too. Like, why would you buy these just to freaking have one piece added to your gun? One part does fuck all to your gun. Unless you are literally missing one piece and it so happens to be in the vendor. Which is very, very rare. Because if you look at this, no shotgun pieces. If you look at this, no submachine gun. He only has one pistol piece. 3700 that's a reasonable price. But that's because it's a pistol. <laughs> Some of these... Look at that, eight grand. This, in my opinion, it's not even worth my money. For one piece. That one piece is gonna give you, like, what, fucking 4%? It, it's just besides me, dude. Like, I don't know, do what you wanna do with the game, but that's, in my opinion, that is not efficient. Like, that is just stupid, in my opinion. Well, now we have... Where's it at? Where's the glue? I forgot to buy the glue. Or not the glue. <laughs> the fucking repair kit. The cleaning stuff. Jesus, my brain, dude. Okay. Hello? Okay. Now we use this, and we clean the gun. And because I have a lot of these, I have like 17, I think. We'll use this, because it's only a 2% bonus. Boom. And then, boom, boom. This gun's still not 100%. <laughs> and I honestly need to get rid of this gun. It's, it's trash. Absolute trash. But, I do have a shotgun that is fully made. Now we in business, dude. We in fucking business now, man. And we do have shotguns too. Shotgun, shotgun ammo. I'm pretty sure I have buckshot. I don't remember though. Oh yes. Oh, there's the buckshot. Sick. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, we do have a pistol, which I have the repair kit for it. So we can also, we don't even have to go into the crafting menu, honestly, because I made this repair kit. So I'm just going to replace the parts because I made it for a reason. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. But now it's 50%, so now we have to buy the 50, and we still have 60, so we don't have to do that. Now, we just go with the 50, and we have all these as crafting, and if you re the here's the thing about crafting. Dude, I don't know what the fuck's going on in my game, but the FPS is trash. This update that we had was just like absolute shit. Like the update just like made me lose like 10 FPS. And I even have all the settings turned off and turned on like they're supposed to be or whatever. Like look at that. Anyways, it's 54%. But if you read right here, it gives me the 60. Because it's going to put me over 60 in the first place. So you might as well use a 60 
to go further instead of just clicking oh 50 and then click something and then click on your 60 when it's it's right here just fucking use it but here's the thing 50 it only says it gives you six puts you at 68 for default but if you go back and go to 60 the 50 gives you 14 so <laughs> if you look at that 69 to 75 it literally only gave you six but if you do it backwards now I'm over 60 but I'm using the 60 one the 60 uh, thing but now if I use the 50 it'll give me 14 so like it's fucking backwards because it's using the most expensive version to give it more. So just keep that in mind. Don't just use your 60. You want to use your 50 because it gives you 14. It is more expensive wasting the 50 oil, but you do get quite a bit. So if you are low on money, I would suggest just using all all 3 of your 60. And just spam it all. Just keep spamming it until you're that. And use some of these. But if you have the money. And you have a lot of 50. Just use 50. But use your 60 to start it. And then use 50 for the extra bonus. If you have the money. Because this is like. This is like 3 grand. <laughs> but yeah. We're just going to use it. And that's 89. So don't use it. Yeah that's 95. So yeah, the 14 will put it probably over 100, but whatever. It's fine. And now we have a pistol. Which I don't have any magazines for, apparently. Uh, hello? I have one. Should probably use it for uh, HP. Yeah, the next item I'm going to be working on is the chest piece, but I still have my helmet to work on as well. Dude, this suppressor is like so fucking weird, dude. Uh, it's like wrapped in tape and everything. Cool. Well, now we got a shotgun and this gun's just bleh. I need to swap it out, but I need to go get that AK I have at the uh, armory warehouse, if you guys remember. Because... The guy in Corden at the farm is starting to sell 54539, which I think is the same assault rifle ammo that the AK uses, if I remember right. But if it is, I'm going to go buy 120 rounds, and then I'm going to try to make some and try to see if I can buy more. And if I can, then I'll swap this out for the AK and I'll have an assault rifle. But I'll mostly be using this because assault rifle ammo is a bit, it's a bit expensive to craft. Not to mention, I don't even have a fucking uh, repair, a drug, not a drug kit, but a ammo crafting kit, surprisingly. So I can't even make it in the first place. Anyways, on to the helmet. So, if we look back in here, he does have one of the cloth pieces I need for the helmet, which is eight grand. So, I mean, if you wanted to buy that, you could. But why spend eight grand? Dude, this FPS is horrible. On an item. As long as you just get this to a hundred, it's okay. Like every single piece you kinda want to repair. But at the same time. You could just get it to a hundred just to make it last because this repair kit's not too expensive, especially not as expensive as making this or uh, the pistol repair kit. This is a lot cheaper, but it does require more of the the what is it called, like the wool stuff or whatever. Anyways, the helmet's sixty, so because it's sixty, it re it meets the requirements. 
and all you do is just hover over it, it shows you exactly what it requires so all of these <laughs> but those are all those are all what 85 75 and this do not ever buy this this is very expensive so we don't have any 60 cloth repair stuff yeah it only goes to 70 so look at this dude 75 over 10 grand so yeah we need to get this to 70 and then from there on we can uh, upgrade it so we're gonna have to use a charge of this which gets it to 70 by default Trust me, this is uh, the most efficient way to save you money because I personally am not going to spend nine grand on buying one fucking cloth piece when I could just go out in the world, find it, put it in my freaking helmet using this, which doesn't use this, doesn't use charges because I'm going into here. Helmet. Let's say I found this piece in the open world and then I upgraded it to 100% condition. Boom. Click it. Bam. Repair. Doesn't use a charge, got a free piece, just gained freaking like 10 uh, condition. Easy. Saved me freaking 9 grand. Why the fuck would you buy that shit? That's what I don't understand with these YouTubers, dude. Like, their crafting guides are stupid. Don't buy shit that it costs you so much money. Like, go ahead and buy it if you're on an easier difficulty. Or don't buy it if you just want to be efficient and not spend so much money when you could just craft literally everything in this game like it literally doesn't make any sense their guides are honestly stupid so yeah we're gonna use this we're gonna use this and because it's only 75 we're gonna use this to give it a little boost because I don't think I have anything to really like go with it <laughs> actually I have a tarp but it's not really worth it in my opinion. I have like freaking 10 of these, so we're just gonna use these. It's 94. Well now it's past the 80 mark, so we have a 90. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's 84. <laughs> I thought it said a 90. Jesus. Where's the 80? <laughs> Put that back in there. This one's cheaper. This one's expensive. <laughs> Very expensive. I can't even use it either. Oh, it's 85. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. We're gonna buy that. Look how expensive this shit is, man. There we go. And now, because it's over 80, we can use this, which is 6. Excuse me. Oh, this is like the default cloth repair stuff you start the game with. If you wanted to start the game with it. I don't care. And then we're using the 90, which gives me 2%. But we're already at 95, which is automatically could put over anyways. Dude, that wall has been like bugging me the whole time I've been crafting. And then we just put this back in there. We don't need the parts, because I've already... Rep I, I was going to use these parts to put into the gun, but... It's whatever, dude. I honestly really don't care. The repair kit isn't too expensive. And as you can see, I like to gather materials. I didn't buy any of these. And I didn't buy this. And I didn't buy any of these high-level items. Now, we have a helmet that's almost, you know, it's pretty much 100%. I don't know what the game is telling me when it comes to the stats because it's literally lying to me. I think it's comparing it with this helmet. Anyways, we got a new helmet. And then trash. There we go. This weighs a lot, doesn't it? Not really, okay. 
Oh, go to battery. So yeah, that's how you repair stuff in the game. Honestly, like I said, I wouldn't listen to some of these YouTubers when it comes to repairing because they'll tell you just to be like, oh, just go to the vendor. You know, buy your parts. These are what you actually want to buy. And this. Don't ever buy the parts, man. Unless you're on like easy or normal difficulty and you don't want to, you don't mind spending five grand, go for it. On hard difficulty? Why the fuck would you spend eight grand? You know, five grand, seven grand, you know, seven grand, eight and a half grand. Why would you spend that much money? For one piece. One piece, like I said, doesn't do anything to upgrade your gear. It literally is going to give you, like, what? 6% condition? Like, what the fuck's that going to do you? You could spend nine, ten grand on making a repair kit such as this than wasting your money because as I've already told you guys if I use this this has three uses this three uses can almost repair this whole chest piece because if you look at the bottom left it shows four cloth pieces that need to be repaired this chest this item right here can technically repair all three of those pieces by itself the fourth one you just have to find or put in there like the repair kit does it for you and yes it's not going to you know repair those pieces individually to a hundred percent you're technically kinda like using this to like overlap the bad durability items in a sense so if you actually want to like make your gear you could just put in the pieces but if you just want to like half ass it which is kind of what you have to do <laughs> until you actually get pieces you just use the repair kit to replace those items but like I said that's got three uses the chest piece has four items so if we go into here go to the chest piece boom 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 I have this piece boom all I have to do is get this piece to 100% perfect now I just use these three to repair these, boom, chess piece is brand new. Simple shit. Let's see if I actually have enough to actually do this too, because, uh. Apparently, I have the piece. Yeah, right here. And if I read this, it requires a sewing kit to repair it. So let's get a sewing kit. This will be the final thing for the video. This is a crafting video, because I want to teach you newbies how to do this, because I'm so fucking tired of these YouTubers being retarded and not really showing you how to uh, craft stuff efficiently I feel like I might need one I don't I don't know actually where's the sewing kit see just one repair goes from 87 to 100 but like I told you in the other video I think if this was 61% and you have two of these cloth pieces if it was 61 to 65% and you have another cloth piece that's 27, 30%, you could use that as a bonus and it actually gives you the full 20% or 30% or whatever that cloth is. So 61 plus 30 or whatever is pretty fucking close to, you know, whatever, you know, that's how you do it. But I don't have any pieces as you see, but it's 100 anyways. So that's done. Now go back pop it in there boom 100% now the chest piece is getting up there and then we should be able to actually use this uh, I think you need a workbench don't you I always forget how to repair the chest piece with the fucking with the item because I, I know you could do it I just like I always forget like how to actually do it god dude I am like my brain I know there's a way you could use this to repair these parts dude <laughs> I haven't repaired my chest piece in like any of my playthroughs Cause like I'm just so fucking lazy 
because like you really don't need it oh my god dude i honestly forgot how to actually repair the chest piece because like it doesn't work because if you read it <laughs> it says 50 percent so yeah you have to get your chest piece to 50 percent i had a brain fart there for a second so yeah Stupid fucking this FPS is trash, dude. So yeah, this requires 50% to repair the chest piece, and I don't have anything to really like bump it up. So we're gonna need cloth. I think all I need is like one more cloth piece, which I. Do not have. Maybe I do have. Well, there's one. That's 56. We might actually be able to fucking make this, dude. There's 100. That's all the pieces, I believe. Boom. 100%. 100%. And we're missing one. But this puts me at 80. So, repair that. What am I missing? We're just missing the brown one, which is this. Just missing this one, but it's only a 56. That's unfortunate, man. But now we can use this on here, and we can use... See how this... What level is this, by the way? Why the fuck would you put that as a 2%? Are you ridiculous? Uh, let's use a cl uh, tarp. Mm. I should be able to use this. Yeah, 10%. Boom. 100%, baby! Oops. Uh, and as you can see, there's a red piece in the chest piece. That tells me that there's a piece that is not fully mm. repaired. But... Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's bugged out. It's fine. It repaired it. It should have repaired it. That's actually what it's supposed to do. There we go. And that's how you repair gear in the game and craft gear. It's literally not hard. It's time consuming, but it, it's not hard. Just, yeah, don't buy shit from a vendor unless you were like literally desperate or you have like hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever to spend eight grand. You know what I mean? It's just not worth it in my opinion. Where you could just craft everything and save a lot of money. But yeah, now we're uh, we're fully, pretty much fully kitted now to go do shit. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the crafting. I know it was kind of a long video, but there's a lot that goes into the crafting. It's not just buying shit from a vendor, you know, and then throwing it into your gear. It's a waste of money. It's not efficient, and it's not hard to collect cloth and shit. It really is not that hard. Like, you either don't have it because you're too fucking lazy, or you just forget to dismantle gear. Yeah, so it's, it's not hard. But now that we have some rad resist, we have a chest piece that's decent... And we're good on rads, and we're decent on armor. We have a shotgun. Uh, this gun's probably okay, but we might go do that um, that first dungeon. Uh, down here. It, uh, not Yantar, but Agaprom. Go do that first dungeon. So that'll probably be the next video for this. So I'll probably just head over there. Next video. I'll probably do these on my way, just to get XP. And the next video, I'll probably 
I might go grab these three stashes, but these ones are kind of iffy because of the military base. So I might just go straight here, just do this, and that'll be the other video, so. So yeah. See you guys all there.